Hello everyone, welcome to Small Model Car. We have got a beautiful casting today and this is a Triumph and the casting is by Matchbox. Uh, before I start, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like these videos, please share with your friends. I need subscribers, to be frank. <laughs> so that I can keep making these videos. So let's start. This is a Triumph TR6 and this casting is by Matchbox. And this is not from a mainline but the collector's edition of Matchbox. So that's how you will get some nice details on it, like better details. First of all is these rubber tires, rubber wheels. We'll talk about all the other details we can see on it. So let's start from the front. So up front, nice details. You can see detailed headlamps, turn indicators, chrome bumper, you can see normally you won't have like a different but here you can see the black bottom part and the chrome bumper up front. Uh, you can also read the TR6 on the grill and you will see a slight bump on this one because it has opening hood. We will talk about that later. Also you can notice it is called, it has got the two rear view mirrors. And these actually look nice. They actually look like original ones. They're not just a stick on kind of like, you know, just to be there, but they look nice. Uh, apart from that, you can see the windshield wipers and sun visors here. Again, a nice small detail. Let's move to the driver's side and see. Uh, again, a very classic body line, uh, British green, British racing green paint. Again, uh, very British paint. Uh, this rim, these rims you might have seen on the other Matchbox too, but here the tires are rubber. Normally on the other older Matchbox, they are plastic. Apart from that, you've got the door handle and you can see the nice body line flowing all the way. You can see slight curve in the wheel arches too. It's, it's a nice casting, it's a nearly nice casting. Now, uh, even from the side you can notice again the chrome bumper going all around and nice details on the tail lamp you can see the chrome outlines on the tail lamps too let's go to the back again just like front it's very nicely detailed you've got the tail lamps you've got the number plate and you've also got the British flag on the left side even the tail lamps are nicely detailed you've got the red tail lamp the Amberton signals and everything and the number plate reads 3L1SS93. If you know what that means, let me know. Because I don't. Moving on to the passenger side, it's almost identical. No major differences here. This looks the same. Uh, the interior is finished in beige. And if you look closely, I don't know if my camera can show it. You can see the three pedals down there. So some nice details on this one this looks really nice uh, the hood opens up and like all the tramp like most of the tram it opens the other way around so I'm gonna open it and show you what's inside so once you open the hood you can see the engine bay uh, unlike some of other matchbox where the details are very like very good on the engine bay this one doesn't have that many details but you can see the engine finished in chrome, kind of, you know, metal finish. So there are some small details, but they're very minor, like you can't really notice because of their, they are the same color, like body color. So you can see there are small details here for the battery and everything, but it can't be, you know, differentiated because of the same color. This is how it looks from the front once the hood is opened up. Uh, so overall, I think it's a very good casting and it looks really nice and well, it's a premium, you know, collector edition So it has to be nice and these come in box rather than, you know, the plastic It will come in a nice box uh, Yeah, it's better than some of the other collectors casting I've got <laughs> from Matchbox I uh, like it and if you see one grab one you will love it, I guess well that's from my side. If you have any 
requests i will try post it if you like my video share it thank you for watching have a good day